Hey, hi, how you doing? I'm really glad you're here. Oh, thank you for hosting me in your shop sure, today. Sure, it's a pleasure. I read a lot of comments and one of the most frequent was how to make a Fischietto. whistle. Yeah. It's a whistle. A fischietto. Whistle. Fischietto. Fischietto. So today I'm, I need your help to do this. Uh, so yeah, I'm really glad. Uh, I will work on the metal parts and you will work on the software. Oh, okay, sure. okay. Yeah, let's go. So everything starts from this aluminium block. I need to divide in equal parts. I have to mark six points on top and then I can use a punch and a hammer to mark the whole the points in a better way. And now I can choose some drill bits. In this case, I'm going to use a four and a half millimeter wide drill bit that is the right dimension to keep the holes not so big and not so small. So using my, dr my drill press, I can control the depth of these Holes. because in this case we, I'm not going all the way through but I'm just punching a little hole inside that is one or two millimeters deep now I have to change the angle of the base of my drill press uh, this is because I want to make holes at an angle and 30, 32 or 33 deg degrees angle is a great angle for these holes and I can go this time all the way through the aluminium part go slowly because we want to have the holes as precise as possible and this is the result I can use my lathe then to find the, exactly the center of the aluminium part and with a smaller drill bit, this in this case 2 mm wide I can make a hole all the way through so this is the part almost completed I have to finish it but mm, now Jaco is working at a 3D software he's making the enclosure for my whistle and he's looking for the right dimension that can fit on top my aluminum part and some on top of some coins with the T 3D printer is a very easy job and in almost half an hour this is the result and Jaco is very enthusiastic on how it looks like. Now let's complete the part of aluminium. I need to put in the middle a stainless steel part and this was a component I took away from a CDA drive. And this component has to be pointy on both sides so the little trick is to use a drill and a disc sander and connect the two parts while they are spinning and in almost 10 seconds we'll get a very pointy shape on the stainless steel. Remember you to make this procedure on both sides of the stainless steel so this is the result and have to be press fitted inside the aluminium spindle and I can secure it with some Loctite or some super glue this is the spindle of the whistle and this have to spin on top of some coins in this case I live in Italy so I got euro coins and these have to be smooth so I will use a lathe and I will face the parts I remember you that using real coins is illegal so you have to find some fake coins to, this, to do this procedure I am making the part very smooth because the spindle have to spin on top and there aren't have to they doesn't have to be imperfections so this is the result of the coin after a couple minutes and I also here I have to represent six points that are equally distance between each other I can punch the holes on top and drill with my drill play, press uh, all the way through in this case we got two coins and the first one that have all only a punch hole in the middle in the center is the one that keep the spindle very close to it so the, the spindle will cut the air and will create sound and so it's very important that the two parts are almost touching each other so I, uh, I can now put the coins inside the 3d printer printed enclosure Jaco whatever made for me and now I can put the spindle inside and a couple of shake I can shake the container so that the spindle the stainless steel spindle find its way inside the hole in the little coin and the top coin is a bit different I place a screw on top this is a brass screw with a little hole in the middle so that I can control the pressure I put on top of the pointy part so that it is not so loose but not so secure now I can secure everything with some epoxy glue and in five minutes everything becomes very strong and sturdy.
this we saw is very very interesting it represents in miniature so in a small way like a alarm siren so it's very cool because we have the spindle inside that starts to spin when we blow inside and then we, we, it will cut air and start to whistle as faster it goes as harder you will hear the whistle so if you enjoy the project please leave a thumbs up and if you want to try one I found a similar one on Amazon so you find the link here I put it in the video description so check it out so at this point I want to thank Jago whatever for helping me with this project you find his channel here and my last video over here so see you next week with another do-it-yourself tutorial ciao ciao